You knew my mother, didn't you? Very well. Just how well, Mr. Devlin? Biblically? Hmm? Hello, Joel Sharpton, one half of the Articulate Coven, and we are here for Dark Shadows, the original supernatural soap opera. I've been watching through this show. I'm watching it on Prime Video. I know a lot of you have been using Freevee, I believe is the name of the service. That is owned by Amazon and has now been announced as it's shutting down. So if you've been watching this show on Freevee, don't despair. It's already available on Amazon Prime. You can, you can switch your viewing over there uh, right away. And uh, it is still as it was on freebie ad supported as all of amazon prime is now unless you pay extra so that's the business end of things we're on episode 31 i'm super excited because we are like this close to wrapping up the first season of dark shadows of course it was a daily soap opera when it originally aired so like what does a season mean i'm guessing you know 35 episodes here is basically like a little over a month's worth but this is the first arc that uh, Amazon Prime has in their listings. 35 episodes are season one, so we're about to uh, close in on it. Let's see what the Collinses do. An explosion centered on a small piece of metal resting in the palm of a man's hand. I forgot to mention that last episode ended on such a surprising cliffhanger. Uh, Burke Devlin pulled out the bleeder valve that had been taken off of Roger's car. Of course, we all know that David had this piece. Whether he actually took it off the car or not, we don't know yet. We all assume that that's what happened. I'm hoping we'll find out soon. <laughs> I really don't know what Burke's play was, though, to, to give the evidence over here. He had lied for David all the way to, you know, this moment. I don't know what's going on. You get this. This is the valve you've been looking for, isn't it? Yup. I want an answer. Where did you get this? As cheap cold open dark shadows. We think we were there already. Ah. But if you don't believe me, why don't you ask your son? He was there. Wasn't it on the road, David? Yes. Why didn't you tell me this before? He didn't have a chance, Roger. You didn't give the boy a chance. <sighs> that man's pants are about to set on fire. Do you believe that story? I don't know. No, she doesn't believe it. Is this what you found hidden in my son's room? Yup. Yes. Why did you lie? No. That's an old habit of mine. When the enemy is moving in, you uh, try to keep them stirred up as much as possible. Okay, so I speculated the other day uh, about Dave, David's parentage about his his father not being roger but actually being burke the timing is right for burke going away to prison and whatnot roger and his wife always fought over burke supposedly according to david but i mean they look alike even a little bit it's just lucky i didn't tell him the truth what do you mean oh come on david this is your friend burke i helped you because i liked you I'm not so sure I did the right thing. Uh, also, keeping running track of our uh, actors here, that's our four right off the top. Uh, so we've only got one to spare. My guess is it'll be Elizabeth. What do you want from me? Not a thing. That's not true. David asked the exact right question. Burke wants something out of this. And what the heck is it? Other than just to keep him stirred up, as he's already said. And had that vow. Liar, liar, pants on fire. You should have thrown it away. Yeah, you should have. Why didn't you just throw it away? I do not understand this. I know what it's like to be trapped. You do a lot of things that you're sorry for. Say He is working this kid so damn good. Like, <laughs> genuinely, this is some of the best acting for Burke so far on the show. Was stupid. Very stupid, Miss Winters. Not holding. Excellent transition. I love it. Not only from father to son, but also, or from son to father, rather, but also on the same word. Ah, just kudos. I love those. If Mr. Devlin said he found that valve on the road, then it must be where David threw it after he got it out of my drawer. And where Devlin conveniently found it. I do love that nobody would assume that what happened actually happened. Like, no one would put together that 
that uh, David would try to plant it on Burke and nobody would put together that Burke found it but then didn't, you know, announce it, that, that David had tried to frame him. Yes. He did come with Burke. How did you know? A what? Are you sure? Got caught in your lie, huh? Boy, Carolyn ratting him out without even being on the episode. <laughs> Something's going on, Miss Winters. Something that I neither understand or like. I know it's a simple thing and it's sort of pedantic, but like, that phrase should have been the other way around. Something I neither like nor understand. Yeah. You can't really like something if you don't understand it, I would think. When he left his room, David was with him. Commercial. Yeah, that's a good break right there. Like, God, this storyline is really heating up. I love it. I love it. You knew my mother, didn't you? Very well. Just how well, Mr. Devlin? Biblically? Hmm? And how do you account for the fact that someone saw you and David coming out of your hotel room? Oh. I see. That's right, Burke. Hoisted by your own petard, Burke Devlin. Uh... Yeah, I, st I mean, other than just working and creating an asset for himself with, with David, I'm still not exactly sure what his play is here. Like, if he was trying to stay off the radar for the Collinses to be able to do all of his business and get this, you know, whatever scheme he's got rolling to take them out, uh, it, he's not under the radar anymore, for sure. Like, come on. I tell the truth. I hate you. But he stayed in my hotel room for about an hour or so. That was a pretty good transition, too. Not quite as good as the other one, because they didn't hang it on a phrase or a, uh, something in the in the script. But still, I like the move. Because, again, David hates Victoria. Roger absolutely hates Burke Devlin. Roger, you and David, you're both alike. You both make up a nice, easy Just story. Minute. Like father, like son almost, huh, Raj? I have to stay with you. Why can't I go in my own Sorry, David, but you have to stay here. To be fair, Roger didn't say you had to keep him in your room. He just said, stay with him. <laughs> I have a book here. I don't want anything from you. Except to get even. Well, I wish you were dead. I wish a thousand ghosts would come in here and That's strangle... Enough, All right, Mr. Winters, leave us alone, please. This is my room, dude. <laughs> Take your nonsense in the middle of the night somewhere else. This is pretty hilarious to me. We've only seen this piano played twice. Elizabeth played it once uh, in an earlier episode. She played like some sad dirge sort of music. And now the second time it's played by Burke Devlin and it's Chopsticks. <laughs> Badly, I might add. Hey, David's holding a very big grudge against you. Well, it doesn't matter. Doesn't it, Miss Winters? Well, I'd stay away from open windows. Man. I mean, Carolyn told her in one of the first episodes not to go too close to the cliffs. <laughs> okay, Burke is just clearly stirring shit at this point. My man wasn't very discreet, was he? But if you would uh... If you'd like to see the report that he made on Victoria Winters, I'd be delighted to show it to you. If you'll uh, join me for dinner. Ooh, Burke, what you doing now? Good on Victoria here for holding her ground. Like, she just does not brook anybody's nonsense, man. I didn't do it. I didn't have anything to do with it. Don't lie to me, David. It's no use. You're a little murderer. That's what you are. A rotten, lying little murderer, and you're going to get what you deserve. Technically speaking, Roger, he's an attempted murderer. <laughs> well, I'm sorry, David. I, I can't do anything for you now. The only way you can help is to get out of here. Mr. Collins, what are you going to do? For the moment, I'm going to lock him up in his room. 
and later on we'll see. Primo parenting there, Raj. And uh, by the way, remember what I said. Stay away from open windows. Man. Pretty, pretty solid episode. Pretty start to this run. Pretty good start to this run. Uh, I do want to remind you that uh, you've got uh, three episodes today, wherever you're watching this. And if you are watching it on YouTube, you'll also have the next batch of three available on our Patreon already. If you go subscribe at articulatecoven.com slash join, $2 or more a month gets you access to everything we do early and ad free. My co-host Ashley and her husband Brett are currently covering Fall of the House of Usher on Flan Again, our spinoff podcast. Ashley and I, of course, are covering Anne Rice's world. We're discussing the book Blood and Gold right now and doing movie nights in between those episodes. And, of course, uh, my wife and I are doing reaction videos for Wolf Like Me here on our YouTube channel. If you're interested in any of that, articulatecoven.com will get you more or subscribe to the channel. Thank you all and come back in just a few minutes for the next episode of Dark Shadows.